standing on the beautiful field today where a special test will be carried out by the team from Kuhn. Three days ago the crop was mowed and then it was raked as you can see. In a moment it will be built into round bales with this baler wrapping combination behind me. They will use two different wrapping methods and compare them with each other, but more about that later. Mr. Roosterburg is a specialist of the Eurofins laboratory and takes samples of the crop that will be built. This is a zero measurement that is needed to draw conclusions about the feed quality when further testing is done in a few weeks and a few months time. A common way to preserve a bill is by binding it with net and then wrapping it in film. This is an excellent method that has been proven to be very effective over the years. But with this Kuhn baler, they can also bind in another way, not by using net, but only by using film. After producing the bale, it is first bound with film and then it is wrapped using a special 3D technique. The remarkable thing about binding and wrapping with film is that it's not just better, it's also cheaper. Later I will explain to you how this is possible. At this time, the bale is produced and then the net comes around it. When the baler ejects the bale, the wrapper starts wrapping it with film. Look, now you can see clearly that the net is tightly wrapped around the bale and that the wrapper comes into action. It wraps a total of six layers of film around it. We are going to take a closer look at the bale. Jari, how does it look? It looks great. You see the perfectly shaped edges um, with no air pockets in there uh, for good preservation and it stacks nicely. This group of bales with net binding and six layers of wrapping film is now ready. The team is going to adjust the machine for the next group of bales. The baler wrapper combination is now changed from net binding to film binding and from six layers of wrapping to five layers of wrapping. This is the second group of bales being made today. used for these bales, but film is wrapped around them immediately after baling. Next, the bales are wrapped using a special 3D technique. Here too, the film roll is tilted horizontally first to draw two extra layers of film around the bale, even around the edges. Then the rolls start wrapping vertically again. So now I have a look at this film bound bale. As you can see, it's even more tight and more angular than a net bound bale. As mentioned, we are doing a comparison test here. So we have to mark the bales to keep them apart because we are going to see if we can observe a difference in feed quality after a storage period. In 
six weeks time, I will come back here and an expert from Eurofins will examine the quality. Would you like to know more about the binding and wrapping techniques Kunas used in this test? I will explain it to you in the series Focus on Bailing. The links are in the description of this video.